So I live in northern United States and it does get pretty chilly here uh, in the winters. And as you may know from other videos, I do have some solar, I guess setups is kind of what they are, where I have some batteries, electronics, and other um, wireless equipment in each box that kind of um, provides me with some security. There's security cameras connected, some other sensors and monitoring I have involved uh, just for me to test it out and see how it all works. The issue with that though is those two kind of don't go together. There's a lot of devices that don't really support super cold temperatures, especially uh, in the climate we're in here. Uh, it does get pretty chilly um, in the winters, so uh, I need to figure out some kind of solution to the temperature issues I'm going to have this winter. Now previously in past winters, I've taken everything down, brought it back inside, um, which is fine, but at the same time, that's kind of lame. Like I kind of want to leave everything out there for the winter. I want to see uh, you know, snow and everything else on the cameras just because it's really cool. So um, with that being said, the, I guess, solution to this is that I need to figure out how to heat the boxes myself. Obviously there's no air conditioning or heaters or that kind of thing out there right now. So my job today in this video is I got to figure out how to do that. So of course I took to Amazon, I went on Amazon, I found myself a little car heater that is a 12 volt heater. Um, which means I can connect it to my 12 volt battery. It's a 100 watt heater, which means I should not have to run it very often. Um, and it should be able to keep me at a pretty sustained temperature, I would think. I'm not sure yet, but we have to figure that out in this video. And I also bought the mini thermostat kind of a thing. Actually, two of them was a two pack. They're a waterproof thermostat, uh, an LED thermostat, I guess, uh, that does negative 50 C to 110 C. Uh, and I think 110 is 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so that's, that's pretty high. And then negative 50 C is negative 58 degrees Fahrenheit. So obviously it's way out of any of the temperature ranges that I would get to, especially with the heater that it will be running. So it's a 12 volt, 10 amp, 120 watt heater, which means it can easily run my 100 watt heater. So we're going to be testing that out in this video. It was $5 per heater. So it's in Celsius, so of course I'm gonna have to figure that out as well. But theoretically, I can program it to automatically turn on and off the heater depending on the temperature. And I think I'm going to try to keep it at about 30 to 40 degrees in the box, give or take. I think 30 is a little cold, but um, if I'm running low on power, I could probably go down to 30 degrees Celsius, or sorry, Fahrenheit, uh, or that kind of thing. So curious to see how this works, but without further ado, let's get started. Let's go mess around with some heaters. All right, so I apologize for the fans. I'm not sure why my servers are so loud today. So I've got the heater right here. It's just a few different pins. Uh, there's actually four wires coming out of it. There's the ground and positive for the fan on it and the ground and positive for the actual power for the heater itself. So with that being said, I'm not sure exactly what to do here for the actual thermostat unit. The thermostat has a uh, positive and ground that's red and black and a positive and ground that is black and yellow. The issue with that is that this heater, or this thermostat, is actually all in Chinese on the back. So that's really cool. Uh, it gives me a lot of assurance that it's gonna work really well. So as you can see here, I'm not exactly sure what any of this stuff says. And since I'm feeling risky and I don't feel like uh, looking up how this works, I'm going to just jerry-rig it and hope that it works. So I'm going to wire up the uh, input, sorry, I'm gonna wire up the output of the t uh, thermostat to the yellow and black pin, and then the input will be the black and red pin. Um, hopefully that works, I'm not sure if it will or not, but if it doesn't work, I'll find out real quick. It'll either start a fire, not work, or somewhere in between. Okay, so I've got the heater wired up here. Excuse the bad wiring. Uh, I've got the positive and negative connections to go to the battery, as well as the output from the heater going out to or output from the thermostat, geez, going out to the heater. So uh, here's the uh, LCD screen on the thermostat. I'm gonna plug this in. By plug this in, I mean I'm going to connect the terminals onto the battery, and we will see what happens. Okay, so it has just clicked, and I can feel the heater running. Uh, so I'm guessing that I need to adjust the thermostat here to either increase or decrease the temperature. So it says 30 and 40 degrees right now. I heard if you hold it down for three seconds, you can actually manually set the parameters that you want here. So we can actually move this down so it does not run if it is within this temperature range. So I'm going to continue lowering this temperature. I'm actually not sure what 30 degrees Celsius is, but 
I'm assuming it's really hot, so I'm gonna keep lowering this temperature down. As low as that will let me go. Actually, I'm gonna go to like 25 Celsius. 27, 26, and 25. Okay, so I've lowered it down to 25 degrees as I think that's the maximum. Um, and you'll see the uh, temperature right now is 24.6, which means we're actually going to be able to test this fairly quickly right here. Okay, so it has just reached 25 degrees and it has actually clicked off, which is very good. So it actually does work, that is the maximum temperature. We're up to 27 degrees now. I'm gonna hold down the up button here for about three seconds. And this is going to set the minimum temperature, I think. So holding either button uh, goes into like the setting mode. So I'm going to actually hold this down again and we're going to lower this temperature down. So it looks like the maximum is 25 degrees, minimum is 23, but it's still running. So I'm actually not quite sure why it's still running at this moment. I'm going to try to heat this thing up with the heater to see what happens because I'm actually not quite sure why it's still running. So it looks like we're going up to 28, 29, 30 degrees Celsius. 35, 40. Yeah, so I should probably stop this thing. So, okay, let's take a look here. Uh, if we lower this down, we'll say minimum is 19 degrees Celsius. I think that's the minimum. If we go down here, I'll hold this button. I'm guessing the maximum will be... It's really odd that there's a maximum, I will say, because... Like, it should, you should just be able to set a maximum temperature and not a minimum um, that it runs at, because either way, if it's not the maximum, it should be running to get to the maximum or close to it. So I don't know if that means it doesn't run till it hits the low temperature or what the case is with that. But So I entered in 20 degrees Celsius, uh, which is actually 68 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's actually way too hot. I don't need it to be 70 degrees in the box. We're going to go to 15 degrees Celsius. And then we'll say the other temperature, I think zero Celsius is actually 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so I set it to three degrees Celsius as the minimum when it kicks in. So it needs to stay between the, that range. And then if it goes below that range, it should heat up. If it goes above the range, it shouldn't do anything. I don't think, and I hope, but I'm not sure. So I'm gonna let the temperature here drop down. So currently, I have no way to actually make this kick in. I should have thought about that ahead of time, but I didn't, so um, I think it works. If you uh, have any questions about this, want to leave a comment down below, tell me what I did wrong, please leave a comment down below. Um, if I don't hear any comments, I'm just going to put these out in the winter and kind of just hope that it actually works and that it doesn't catch on fire or anything like that. So I'm going to probably build some kind of a mount for this because it looks like it needs to be mounted in a way that the uh, exhaust goes out of here on this side because this looks like it's an intake fan that actually runs the heat through the heater and then gets it out so um, that's pretty much that I think it works I hope it works I hope I don't start any fires thank you for watching have a great day I'll see you in the next video